Well, guys, is there still any time left to discuss this year's BET Awards? Hey, everybody, it's your girl, Miss Santa Little Call, and I'm coming to you straight out of NYC on this. Now, it's getting to be a little bit more beautiful outside on this Friday afternoon. So, I saw the BET Awards when it came on when it first aired. But like I said, in my previous interview, I, in my previous video, I wasn't able to discuss it because I've had some personal issues going on. And what I will say is that I'm good. If, if you're thinking something bad, I'm good. But I wasn't able to discuss it because I've been dealing with a lot of stuff at, at, at that moment. But I'm going to comment on it briefly. I have to say, compared to last year, it was very good. It was very good. Now, the one in 2017 was very good when Remy Ma won. But the one in 2018, uh... I don't know what was going on. But this year's BET Awards was very good. I thought the hosts they had, I thought Regina Hall did a pretty decent job. Some of the jokes fell flat. But for the most part, she did her thing. I loved the honor of Mary J. Blige. Because I have to say, she's been in the game officially this year makes 30 years. Plus... Her debut album this month is going to be 27 years old. And I must say, she has to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because now she's eligible. She has 25 years in. And I think that should be made notice that she should be, her name should be put placed in the pool. She has to get that recognition. Even if she doesn't get it now, go up until like the next five years. That her name has to be put in as nom- as being nominated because she has been one of the most influential artists in R&B within the last 25 years. But hers was, she had like a 30 minute bit and it was worth all of the time. I also liked Tyler Perry being awarded the Icon Award. Even though I have my differences of opinion with him wearing a dress. He made a mark in the movies that no other director has ever done. Even a lot of white directors. Okay. Um, my criticism of him, though, is just the villains of the stories are always dark-skinned men. A lot of times. And that's where my criticism comes with him. But for the most part, I, have to, I will congratulate the brother on that. I'm going to also discuss... Her, what she was talking about was deep, but still, it was powerful. It wasn't your average performance throughout the history of the BET Awards, but it was a message song, and it was worth it. What I enjoyed the most was the Exonerated Five being honored at the BET Awards. And for them to no longer mention them as Central Park Five, that was the most profound moment of the BET Awards. And what else will I say? I just think it's very interesting that Cardi B is winning all these awards. I just think that's very interesting. And I'm going to get back to that. But as a whole, it was pretty, it was pretty good. Here is the thing that I, and I'm going to say as far as Nipsey Hussle situation, very sad, very sad. It was good that they honored him, but it was sad that they waited until... Well, I can't even say they waited. He probably would have got honored eventually if he would have lived. But it's just sad that it happened the way it did. That was just... It was bittersweet. Here is my criticism, though. I have to say the talent. The talent has to get better. The baby, little baby, really... With the Michelin arms, the baby walking around with the Michelin arms, that was sad. Um, I have to say that I am at that age now where I finally feel like how my grandmother felt when she 
would look at some of the artists and be like, who are they? I don't know who they are. I can't release the music. I never thought I would become that person. But at the age I am, I'm officially that woman. I it's, it's not even music to me at this point. So I can't even discuss it. It's just sad. Now I'm going to go into Cardi B. Cardi B winning awards is the most funniest thing. Because I do believe they're doing it to slap Onika in the face. If you look at the timeline of Onika winning awards, Onika won awards in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. All of a sudden, it stopped. For seven straight years, she won awards. And what I do believe is that Nikki boycotted the awards because she didn't win. And this is the thing. Onika was used to winning because she didn't have any real competition. Nick Cardi B, people say she's not a real lyricist. But she's classified as a rapper. And it has been alleged that the reason why she's being big is because Atlantic is putting a lot of money into her to spite Nikki in the face because Nikki wouldn't sign with them. That could be the truth. That could be the truth. But she's now something that Nick, she got two things that Odika Nikki does not have, which is a Grammy and a number one single. Nikki has never had a number one single in her career. Never had a number one single in her career and never been nominated for a Grammy. And it's alleged that she got blackballed by the Grammy Foundation. So my criticism to BET is don't give Cardi B awards to spite somebody in the face. I'm not a fan of Nicki Minaj, but right is right. Don't do that grimy shit because it doesn't mean that she's got it sincerely because she's going to look back and she's going to be upset. Cardi B. Also, I will say that Al Sharpton and his back, I don't know. You got to gain some weight again, brother, because you being thin, it ain't it. What else? Oh, the BET Awards did have the lowest um, views throughout the history of the award show with $2 million. That was sad because it was actually decent. And let me see what else was pretty okay. Because this is, I'm going to wrap it up. What I will say is that Deborah Lee wasn't there because I know she left. Stephen Hill, may, unless I missed a little bit of it, I didn't see him. And, um... That's about it. I mean, it was decent for the most part. It's just that what made the BET Awards special, it ain't it anymore. And that was the music. We always would watch the live performances. That ain't it. And the reason being is because the music is horrible. And I think that's why the viewership is low. It gets lower through the years because of the music, the lack of music, the lack of talent. And I think BET, y'all need to start going with the talent that y'all have. And y'all need to start cultivate more and we don't have the record labels powers like we used to but um it's just a shame with what it with the state of music and the state of hip-hop and everything it's just bad all around and I will say my only criticism to sum it up is I don't see the BET awards lasting into the next decade if the music is going to be as trashy as it is they could just wash it up it's not going to happen. And that's all I have to say about that. This is your girl, Miss Little Little Cool, signing off. Share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.